I play a character called uh, Chief Gus Mancuso in this movie. Um, he uh, is a guy who is um, a spacer, a, a, a lifetime of uh, traveling in space, somebody who fell in love with the stars and the notion of uh, interplanetary travel probably at a young age and has made probably five or six voyages uh, to different planets and um, has no real attachment to the Earth, is, is completely enamored with uh, space and the stars and new worlds. The journey goes from Earth, like almost a hundred years to reach this new planet. Um, people are, you know, asleep for most of the journey and then they wake up, you know, 80 years later and they sort of populate this new world. Uh, but things go wrong, as they do, and uh, he wakes up along with our two leads. And uh, luckily he's a crew chief, so he has access to uh, certain things that they wouldn't have access to as passengers. Uh, and he sort of helps them sort of, you know, acclimate to the environment uh, of this crazy ship that's, you know, on a course that can't turn back. Jim, who's an engineer, um, doesn't have all the knowledge that Gus has about the, the real workings of the ship. So together, I think, the two of them are able to sort of deduce that there is something that's amiss and it's much larger than they imagined. It's very refined, um, it's very elegant, it's super sophisticated, um, clean, you know, modern, uh, beautifully, beautifully designed environments that we got to play in. And um, I'm sure that's going to add to uh, sort of the, the quality of isolation that, that I think the audience will feel. Um, and allow the warmth to come from the characters, the warmth and the humanity and those things that are recognizable uh, will come through with the characters. I really enjoyed working both with Jennifer and with Chris um, and with Michael, uh, you know, who I worked with before many, many, many years ago. Um, you know, they're all really some of the finest actors working, you know, period. Michael's character is really kind of an anomaly in, in a way because, you know, he appears to be quite human and quite understanding and, you know what I mean, and kind. He presents as a human being. But because he is an android, there are things that are beyond his understanding. The production design was out of this world. Uh, the DP is incredible. So those two things in concert, it's, you know, you, you, you're basically dropped into, you know, the best situation that you can be dropped into as an actor. Because you don't have to worry about, you know, whether or not it looks good. It looks fantastic. Um, it's just about whether or not you are bringing, you know, an authenticity and, you know, your humanity and a sense of realism to this fantasy world, if you will. I think the thing that, that was most important for us between Morton and myself was the fact that, you know, he was the one that said to me first that, you know, Gus is the adult. He's the father figure in this piece. Um, and that was sort of a, a, a really good anchor for me to have in terms of finding out who the character is and how to play him. 
Hey guys, did you know that Pierce Brosnan was contractually forbidden from wearing a full tuxedo in any non-James Bond movie from 1995 to 2002? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.